Hello and welcome back to Prophetic Diary. I just want to say welcome to all my first time visitors. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button as I'm happy to have you here. And to all my faithful subscribers, thank you for your likes, your comments, your testimonies, your emails, your words of encouragement. Thank you to all who have sown into Prophetic Diary the belief and the blessings that you guys bestowed on this channel. It's just, it's, it's just, it's, it's such a blessing. And I only pray and I thank God that he's going to continue to take us higher and higher. Um, I have a word for us today and it is titled catch the bouquet. And I, 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 I'm going to make this a quick word. I, I, um, was laying in my bed last night and I was spending time with the Lord. And I find a lot of times when he's talking to me, spending time with me, I want to rush online and share with you guys, whether I just drop a post in the community, um, you know, community chat or whatever. But last night I was reading, I was just studying and the Lord was talking to me and he was talking to me about my wedding and he was, he led me to YouTube and I was listening to some Christian love stories and I was just enjoying it, watching it because I really, I haven't been to a wedding in a long time. So I just want to prepare my mind for where I'm going as a wife. So I was listening to a few wives speak about being a wife and how they met their spouse X, Y, Z. So I noticed after watching a few videos that the woman's bouquet, the woman's bouquet, um, when they walked down the aisle, they, you know, sort of had it at their side, kind of like showing off their dress. So I said, wait, Lord, why do women, why do women carry bouquets? So like, why, why? And he said, you tell me why. So I said, okay, I'll go look it up then, God, since you don't want to tell me. So I started to look into it and the bouquet is obviously flowers and flowers have a scent and they ward off the bad spirits or whatnot, what they said back then. But the part that I love reading about where it represented new beginnings, fertility and fidelity. And I said, OK, God, I can catch that bouquet. <laughs> and the Lord says today, catch your bouquet. And furthermore, he says, when you catch the bouquet and brothers, when you catch the garner, whatever y'all catch, he says, it's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. And how I know this from the Lord, because I don't even think like this. I don't even, I'll watch a marriage video. I don't worry about that. I don't worry about it. He says, it's your turn. It's your turn. And so I said, okay, God, all right. So we know you've been preparing us for this moment. We know that you've been telling us X, Y, Z, but a lot of our situations don't look like it. You know, the prodigal cousin hasn't come home. The husband hasn't come home to reunite with his wife. Some of us haven't even met our spouses, don't even know who he is. He said, listen, just catch the bouquet and I'll worry about all that stuff. Just catch the bouquet and we'll fi I'll figure that part out for you. But right now I need you to know you need to catch that bouquet because it is your turn. It's your turn. I said, OK, well, God, give me some skip scripture. So he took me to Luke 14 verse 16 and i'm not going to read this whole thing because of time sakes but jesus replied he was tell telling a parable about the great ban banquet jesus replied a certain man was preparing a great banquet and invited many guests then you know the people that he invited had a bunch of excuses why they couldn't make it so then the master that was hosting the banquet was said, then the master told his servant, go out to the roads and the country lanes and make them come in so that my house will be full. I tell you, not one of those men who were invited will get to taste off my banquet. <laughs> Listen, y'all need to go read this. The parable of the great banquet, because many was invited. Many had a chance to come and, f and and feast on this great this great feast, but there was too many excuses. Like one excuse was, I have just brought five ox and oxen, and I'm on my way to try them out. Please excuse me. All these excuses, and God said, you waited patiently while everybody else had their turn. You waited patiently. You heard all the excuses of why people couldn't tend to you. And you heard excuses from people that you passed, lovers that you wanted to be with, why they couldn't be with you. You heard 
you're not good enough. You're not smart enough for me. I don't want to date a woman with kids. You heard all these excuses of why they couldn't be with you, why they can't come join this banquet. Hmm. Well, 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 your Lord says, you know what? Go out to the roads and the country lanes and make them come. So you may not know that it was going to happen like this. You may not have known you was going to meet this spouse or meet this person or it was going to go like this. You may have not known the people that's going to be at your wedding because you just met them a year. And the people that you know for 15, 20 years ain't even show up. But the one that you met a couple weeks ago at Walmart showing up, you may not have known who was going to be at that Thanksgiving. You may have not known that this feast was going to take place. But the Lord says, the master says to make Go get them because you're going to make sure that my house will be full. The Lord is making sure that these weddings will be full of abundance and full of joy and full of love. No, he had to weed out the bag. He had to weed out and get the ones that couldn't be there. Get them out the way. Get them out the way, Satan, in the name of Jesus. Their negative thinking and their negative talking and their negative actions. But the Lord says today, you will be full. It will be full. There will be laughter in that house. There will be joy in that house. There will be joy on that wedding day. There will be dancing. There will be celebration on that day. So you caught the bouquet. Some of us already caught the bouquet. If you've caught, you need to catch that bouquet because it's your turn. It is your turn, brother. You deserve that wife. You deserve to be taken care of. You deserve to be loved because you have been obedient. You have been steadfast. You have stepped out of the box where it's just say the cool. It's so cool to have multiple women. You stepped out the box and said, no, I'm going to trust the Lord for one woman that will equal 12 women. The Lord to give you one woman that's so wonderful. She she trampled over 15. You could put 15 women in a, wall, a room and they still want to add up to her. So the Lord is going to honor that faithfulness, brother. In the name of Jesus. But the Lord said in verse 16, a certain man, Jesus said, a certain man was preparing a great banquet and invited many guests. You have been great. You have been, been preparing He's been preparing you for something great. Something great has been brewing in you. A whole banquet, a whole feast has been preparing for you. Who cares if they don't come sit at the table? The feast will go on. The celebration will go on in the name of Jesus. These marriages will come forth in the name of Jesus. They will break forth now in the name of Jesus. Breakthrough come forth now. It doesn't matter what the devil say. It doesn't matter the excuses and the lies that he's trying to put in your head. How it can't happen. Why it won't happen in the impossibilities. It doesn't matter. This feast will take place if only God shows up to the wedding. If only God shows up to the ceremony, if only you and God believe for it, that that prodigal is coming home. If only you and God still believe that the miracle is going to take place and turn it all around. Hallelujah. He's touching the hearts of men and women. He's bringing them home. His, God loves his children. He's not going to let them continue to roam the streets as prodigals. No, he's going to bring his children home. He's bringing these marriages in. I don't care if the, wor the world is starting all these OnlyFans pages and men are lusting after multiple women and cheating on their wives. And we don't care what's going on in the world. But when the Lord calls them home, he calls them home and they got to an answer because every knee shall bow. Who? Who? If God is for us, who can be against us? Who can stop it? Not a soul can stop what the Lord is doing. Catch the bouquet. Go ahead. Don't stand back in the back and say, oh, I'm not going to catch the bouquet. I caught 12 bouquets and I've never been married and I, it never happens for me. Well, on the 13th catch, sis, that's it's your turn. It doesn't matter how many times you caught the bouquet. It doesn't matter how many times you had a failed relationship, a broken heart. Catch the bouquet this time because my God's presence is here. And I love the YouTube channel Trinity of Love. I love her so much. She's such and she last night. She came on and she was just showing, the, you know, she was uh, in Virginia Beach and she was showing us the rainbow of his promises. She drove all the way out there just to show us what the Lord has shown her to let us know and remind us of the promises that the Lord has for us. These promises will come to pass. And if he got to send his prophets and his leaders and his teachers to keep on reminding you, he will, because we won't let it falter. It doesn't matter what the low, low world looks like. Let's talk about the kingdom. Can we talk about what's going on in the kingdom? Can we talk about how God is saving and delivering his people? 
It's an overflow of miracles headed our way. Let's talk about the kingdom. What's going on in the kingdom? Don't talk about me about why it can't happen. It's all things are possible. The Lord says, catch the bouquet in the name of Jesus. He says, Jesus replied, a certain man was preparing a great banquet and invited many guests. And in verse 23, it says, go out to the road country lanes and make them come in so that my house will be full. It's going to happen and it's going to be and it's going to be great. It's going to be more than you expect. It's going to blow your mind. Expect text messages. Expect phone calls. Expect apologies. Like I said in my yesterday video, you are worthy. Yes, you are. You are worthy in the name of Jesus. You are worthy. Jesus, glory to God. And if you didn't go watch that live, go watch it because you need to be reminded that you're worthy of these things that's about to hit your doorstep. I thank you all for listening in and I love you all and I'm excited for you all and no weapon formed against you will prosper against you all. Hallelujah. Through the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your way, Father God. Father God, we thank you for this message in the name of Jesus. We thank you in the name of Jesus that we even have the faith to believe, Father God, that you can set up a table so grand, a banquet, and prepare something so wonderful for us, Father God, that when they don't want to show up, that you'll still make that room full. You'll still fill up that house. You'll still fill up our hearts. You'll still fill up our minds. You'll still fill us up, Father God, with the joy of the Lord and the expect expectation of the Lord, Father God. No matter what it looks like, who can stop you, Jesus? You still work me because you still do the impossible. It is not over. In the name of Jesus, Father God, have your way in our lives, Father God. We make room for you, Jesus. You have a seat at our table, Father God. You are the number one guest, Father. You are the first person on our guest list in the mighty name of Jesus. So we thank you, Lord, for your presence. We love you, Lord, for what you have done. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.